for my Marvel stuff. Marvel breaking biggest decision yet for Secret Wars and Marvel Sun Universe. Let's see what the Cosmic Wonder has to say about this and check this out. So it looks like Marvel Studios right now has narrowed down the choices for who they want the director to be for Avengers Secret Wars. And this is a big deal. This is a huge decision. This is supposed to be bigger than Avengers Endgame. Mm -hmm. Not just by a little bit, but by a lot. So they need an incredible director behind the project. And honestly, two of the choices that we've heard about so far are top notch and I think would do an insanely good job. One comes in the form of director Sean Levy, who is currently directing Deadpool 3 for Marvel Studios. And I've said this before, but don't sleep on Deadpool 3 because this movie is going to be a lot bigger than just Deadpool and Wolverine. Now, of course, obviously it's going to focus on them. And if it was literally just the two of them fighting each other the entire movie, a lot of us would probably be okay with that. But in terms of how it's going to impact the overall MCU story, it's huge. And it has a lot of components to it that make Sean Levy directing Deadpool 3 a great option for directing Secret Wars as well. The other director is related to Marvel as well, and he is super qualified, but first let's dive into Sean Levy. So if you don't know Sean Levy, he's worked on some amazing things. He got Stranger Things going, and he was a producer for the show. He directed Free Guy, which I know a lot of people watched, which had Ryan Reynolds, and he also directed The Atom Project, which had Ryan Reynolds as well, and Mark Ruffalo. So he's worked with Marvel actors before, and Ryan Reynolds has stated that he loves working with Sean. And quite honestly, Marvel Studios themselves have put a lot of trust in Sean Levy by having him direct Deadpool 3. This movie is going to be absolutely iconic. Ryan Reynolds' best character, Hugh Jackman's best character, and returning as that character after many, many years of not playing that character. And he himself even recently has stated how huge this is. R-rated, very much so. Love uh, it. But you have two major movie stars together in a movie playing their most iconic signature roles. That is director heaven and so the story the tone the movie itself leans into that gift of having deadpool and wolverine co-starring in a movie for the first time but here's honestly the real deal about sean levy directing avengers secret wars deadpool 3 is essentially going to be secret wars in fact it's literally going to be the story of secret wars battle world from the comics we've heard now from multiple insiders that in deadpool 3 the tva will be taking heroes from collapsing universes from universes that have mm -hmm. incursions happening to them they'll be taking these heroes and putting them all on one planet battle world that is right from the comics and insiders have acknowledged that this movie is going to be very integral for the events that lead directly into secret wars meaning if deadpool 3 doesn't happen secret wars doesn't happen kang dynasty doesn't happen the insider cameron gibson host said this make no mistake deadpool 3 will not just be a setup movie for avengers secret wars just like infinity war was its own contained story but was integral for engram to even happen Deadpool 3 will be the same for Secret Wars. So in a way, Deadpool 3 is part one to maybe a three-part, maybe a four-part if they decide to split Secret Wars into two different parts, but part one to a three-part currently Secret Wars storyline. So he kind of already has his own Secret Wars movie. Well, we know, based on the past for Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, that Marvel Studios is interested in having the person who directed the first part direct the second. They did this with the Russo brothers. And they were kind of doing this before, before they got rid of the writers for Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars, with Jeff Loveness and Michael Waldron. The two of them have worked together closely on Rick and Morty in the past, and they both wrote other MCU films and shows. And they were both connected to multiverse movies, so they wanted them to write the big one since they had that experience. That's essentially kind of what they did with the Russo brothers. They directed the Captain America movies, Civil War directly connected to Avengers Infinity anymore and of course infinity war connected into endgame and one could see why they would want the same director to do both projects so they feel the same so they have the same continuity and that might be the case here for sean levy rumors have it that marvel studios want him to direct the film and even recently he was asked in an interview if he was going to be directing that film he was asked by et canada about the rumor and this is what he said there's a big old rumor out there that when you're done deadpool that it might be avengers I read that rumor, and that's all I'm going to say. And that's all I'm going to say. 
So basically, no comment. But again, he is working with Marvel Studios right now, and he's probably signed to NDAs. It's mm-hmm. a classic interview conundrum. You can't ever say, yep, I'm doing it. I'm directing the film. Or a cast member going, yep, I'm in that movie. It's like Paul Rudd denying that he's Ant-Man. Andrew Garfield saying he's not the werewolf. They can never really say yes. But the latest rumors tell us that Marvel Studios is eyeing him to direct Secret Wars. And if Deadpool is going to be such a massive success, like we all are hoping it's going to be, and like it sounds like it's going to be, I think it would be pretty great to have Sean Levy direct the film. Everything that I've yep. seen from him has been really, really good great actually i've seen some amazing things from him and i've seen a lot of people out there say the same thing however like i mentioned marvel studios apparently has other directors in mind and another one is sam Raimi. now we've talked about this a little bit in a previous video but this kind of makes sense twofold one he's marvel legacy i mean he worked on the spider-man films he directed spider-man one through three with toby mcguire i mean the man is a legend and like i've said before he came into a pretty messy situation with doctor strange and the multiverse of madness i know some people have problems with that movie but a script was already written then they had to redo a lot of it it was just pretty hectic and i believe he did the best job with what he was given but keep in mind he's not going to be writing secret wars they're just looking for directors and again the second part to this is he has already directed a multiverse movie in the MCU. Again, going back to Marvel Studios kind of wanting the same director who directed something previous leading into a big movie to also direct that big movie. So he directed Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, which was a multiversal film. Now he can direct another multiversal film on a much bigger scale, Secret Wars. And this time, do it properly. Have him come in at the very beginning, be involved with the writing process that the writers do, and just basically get it right. He's a very admired director for all of the work that he's done, and I'm sure if he was given a chance, he'd crush it, and it sounds like Marvel Studios wants him as well. Plus, you have to realize that Kevin Feige has known and worked with him for an incredibly long time. Feige worked with him on the Spider-Man films when he directed them. And according to insider at My Time to Shine Hello, she stated that she has sources confirm that Sam Raimi is Marvel's top choice to direct Secret Wars. Now, the reports about Sean Levy being wanted by Marvel Studios came out after this report, so maybe some things have changed, but right now, I'd say these are our top two guys. However, there is one more that was mentioned by Daniel RBK, who tweeted, you know who I heard they want to direct Secret Wars? Alfonso Cuaron. And this seems like it's coming a little bit out of left field, but he has directed some big projects like Gravity and Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban and Children of Men. So a good name as far as directing is concerned. And he's been involved with a lot of sci-fi fantasy types of films and shows. And perhaps that is why Marvel Studios could be eyeing him to direct Secret Wars. So those so far are the top three choices reportedly for Marvel Studios that we've heard about recently. Let me know what you think about these choices in the comments down below. I think if I had to go with anybody, it would probably be Sean Levy, but it's really close between him and Sam Raimi. But go ahead and let us know who you would pick. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU news. You can, of course, follow us on Instagram and Twitter as well. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. We'll floor it. Please subscribe, like this video. Have a great day. And please like this video and see you guys. Bye.